Hello everyone, Rogebox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'll show you how to make a smart furnace for Bedrock Edition. This build was inspired by Momo Jumbo's smart furnace design, but I have made a few adjustments to it. The auto smelter itself is actually one wide, which I'm really proud of. And then of course I have added some extra features, such as the lamps on the side. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. On the left side here we do have a lamp, so this will be our fuel lamp. And this lets us know if we have fuel in the furnace or not. So it is off, that means we have nothing inside the furnace, so let's go ahead and add our fuel. There we go. Our fuel is in there, as indicated by the lamp. And on the right side here will be our indicator lamp for the furnace itself. This will let us know if the furnace is on or off. So to demonstrate this, what we're going to do is place our iron ore inside. So our lamp has turned on, and then once the furnace shuts off, our lamp will turn off, and then we will also get a ding from the note block here letting us know it's done. So there we go, everything is finished, and then we open up our chest, and there is our iron ingot. Now that you have seen how this works, let's go ahead and take a look at how to build it. So for the smart furnace, we will need a 5x5 area, and let's take a look at our supplies. There we go, there are all the supplies we'll need for this build. Now this may look a little complicated and confusing, so let me quickly explain it. The top row here is for the auto smelter itself, so if you're only wanting to build that one white auto smelter, all you need are the supplies from this top row here. The second and third row are for the extra bells and whistles. So the middle row here is for our indicator lamp that lets us know if the furnace is on or off. And then the third row down here are the supplies that you'll need for the fuel lamp. So hopefully that makes sense. Now with that being said, if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that. Grab your supplies and then we'll jump right into the build. What we want to do first is place in the one wide auto smelter. So from the center, let's come five blocks up. One, two, three, four, five. Now what we want to do is make a T. So a block on this side and a block on that side. So these three blocks up top will be the floor level and everything else will be underground. Now go ahead and grab your chest and place chests on top of these three blocks right here. Once you have that done, go ahead and grab your furnace. We want to come two blocks down and then place down our furnace. Now what we want to do is wire up our inputs so for the ore input, we're going to knock this middle block out right here and run our hopper into the top of the furnace. And for the fuel, we're going to go ahead and run a hopper into the side of the furnace like that. Knock this block out and then run a hopper into that hopper right there. So it should look like this so far. Now what we need to do is set up our output. So we can go ahead and knock this block out right here. And one block down and one block over from the furnace, go ahead and place a dropper facing up. One more dropper facing up and then another dropper facing up like that, running into the chest. And finally, go ahead and grab your hoppers once again. We want to knock this block out, and then run a hopper into the side of our dropper like that. And there we go. There is the setup for the one white auto smelter. Now let's go ahead and wire it up. Now to wire this up, what we're going to do is grab our observer, and let's come over to the left side down here. And I'm actually going to knock these out so I can get underneath. And what we're going to do is place an observer facing in this direction, so red dot facing down. And then we have the face facing up. Now go ahead and grab a comparator. We want to run a comparator out from this hopper here and on top of the observer. Just like that. From here, we can go ahead and run this observer into a block right here. Let's knock these out. Redstone dust right here. Block right there. Redstone torch facing out with a block on top. Another redstone torch on top of that block. And then a block above that redstone torch with redstone dust on top. So that is everything all wired up. Now let's go ahead and give it a test. All right, so we have our empty furnace right here. We also have our empty output chest. So this is the fuel chest. So let's place in our fuel and that will go down below right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and place in our ore. So that is smelting. And I did swap out the colors here just so things will be less confusing down the road as we add the extra features. So once that is done smelting, right there, we can open up this chest, and then we have our ingot. As I mentioned earlier, for those of you only interested in building the one white auto smelter, you are done. But for those of you who want to place in the indicator lamps, stay tuned because we're about to do that right now. The first lamp that we're going to set up is the indicator lamp for our furnace. So this will let us know when our furnace is on or off. So go ahead and grab a redstone lamp, and what we're going to do is come to the right side here, and place a lamp above this redstone dust like that. Go ahead and grab your observer. We're going to swing around to the back side here. And then place your observer 
against the back of the furnace like that. Now go ahead and place three temporary blocks down like this. One, two, three. Grab your hoppers, run a hopper into that bottom block, knock that out, and then run a hopper into that hopper so they're facing each other. Now go ahead and place one junk item inside. So at the moment, it will be going back and forth. That's fine. Knock these blocks out right here. Against the observer, place a redstone torch. So you can see it just like that. And then go ahead and place redstone dust on top of the hoppers. So that will lock the item in place, as you see right there. Now what we're going to do is grab a block and place a block right here. A block up. Grab your comparator and run a comparator out from the hopper and into this block. Get your redstone torch. Place redstone torch right here. That will invert. Block above the torch. Another torch right there. That will be on. And then one more block above that torch. And then a torch on the side facing the redstone lamp. So if you did it correctly, this will be off, and then our redstone lamp will also be off. Now for the note block, what we're going to do is place redstone dust on top. That will be on. Temporary block right there with our note block on top. Now you can go ahead and set that to any pitch that you'd like. So we'll go ahead and use that one for now. And there we go. There is the lamp all set up that lets us know when our furnace is on or off. But of course, we have to test it out, so let's go ahead and do that. Once again, we do have an empty furnace, so let's go ahead and place in some fuel. We'll skip a step and place it directly in there, and also a diamond ore. So that will activate our furnace, and that will be detected by our observer, and that will turn on our redstone lamp. Now, I didn't explain what this is earlier, but this is a T flip-flop. So as you see there, once the furnace has shut off, our observer detects that once again and then activates our T flip-flop to shut everything off. So I'll go ahead and run it one more time just so we can get a better look. So fuel, diamond ore, that is in there. Our lamp is on, so the item has now pushed over to this hopper. So once it shuts off, that activates the T flip-flop once again, and then pushes this item back over to the left hopper. And our wrestle lamp has turned off, and then of course we open up our chest and there are our diamonds. Because I know I will probably hear it down in the comment section, no, no, I do not condone placing diamond ore, or redstone ore for that matter, in a furnace. That is, that is just a big no-no. And now it's time to place in our last redstone lamp. And this lamp is going to let us know if we have fuel in our furnace or not. So go ahead and grab your lamps once again, and what we're going to do is come to the left side over here, and against the chest, go ahead and place a redstone lamp right there. Grab your blocks against the hopper under the furnace. Place a block right against it like that. Go ahead and grab your comparator. We're going to run a comparator out from our furnace. So when we do have fuel inside, at the moment we don't have any. This will be detected by the comparator here and will let off a signal. But because we don't have any, it's going to be off at the moment. Next, what we want to do is run that comparator into a block right there. We want to place another block right here. Knock that one out. Get your repeater. And then run a repeater out from this block and we can leave that set to one tick. Now go ahead and run that repeater into a block right here. Come around to this side, place a block right there, we can knock that one out. Rest on dust on top. Now I didn't have this in the supply list and I didn't think it would be that big of a deal, but we never want to crosswire anything in any redstone build that we make. So what we're going to do is place down a transparent block. So in this case I'll use glass, but you can use slab, an upside down stair, basically anything that's not going to be powered by this comparator here. So let's place our glass right here. Redstone dust. That way when this is on, it doesn't send signal or power into this block here, activating the redstone. So again, it is safe to never crosswire anything. So from here, we're going to place a temporary block down like that. Sticky piston facing up with a redstone block on its face. We can knock that block out. And then everything is all wired up. And like I said, if we don't have any fuel in there, so everything is shut off, as indicated by the lamp. If we go ahead and place fuel inside, so this is our fuel chest here, let's place one oak sapling in. As I mentioned, the comparator will detect any fuel inside. So we have redstone power now coming through, that will extend our piston, pushing our redstone block up, powering this lamp. And then of course, when we're all out of fuel, we're going to take that out, it will shut off. Now the only thing left to do is to decorate your build. So let's go ahead and place this in. Again, this is our floor. Like that, we can place blocks above the redstone lamps. And what I chose to do was place stair blocks facing in this direction. 
So yes, we can still access our chest, but this also allows us to place signs above the chest like that, just to keep everything organized. So we have our fuel, we have our ore, and then we have our ingots. So that's all ready to go. And as you can tell, this will fit nicely into the wall of your base. So we can just build up around like that. Come out. And there we go. We have ourselves a smart furnace. And that brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been Rogue Fox, and I'm out. I'll see you later.